baptism. What's the deal with baptism? <laughs> um, baptism is one of those interesting things because there are certain aspects of bat- baptism which are make no sense whatsoever. Number one, I do not in any way, shape, or form that children are born sinners. And I do not in any way, shape, or form think of them as wretches as they come into this world. You know, no parent has ever held a newborn and said, you wretched sinner, unless their parent had something really seriously wrong with them. Because when you hold that child for the first time, you're like, oh my God, this is my child. And you get that moment, right? Secondly, it used to be that all children who weren't baptized went to purgatory. So they didn't have to go all the way to hell, right? But now they don't preach purgatory anymore. So what happened to all those kids? Right. They just kind of went away with someone deciding we don't do that anymore. Right. Um, the next thing is, is that baptism itself has a has a long history. And it started because back at that time period, ritual baths were very much the thing. Every sect of every society had ritual baths. Roman had ritual, Romans had ritual baths. You know, the Essenes had bath chambers for speci- specific ritual baths. Right? Ritual baths were the big thing. Now, what did they, what did they do? They purified you before a holy event. They purified you before you ate a meal. They purified you, right? Um, John the Baptist looked at this as a, as a great symbolic gesture of purifying you of the past beliefs you carried and then setting you anew on this new path that he, you know, his faith, that uh, starting that with a clean, fresh slate. You've been purified of your, of your past belief, and now you're moving forward. In the Bible, it says that Jesus came to John and was baptized by John, and John said, um, you should be baptizing me. And Jesus said, baptize me, John. And then after Jesus was baptized, he sp- walked away. And as he's walking away, John says, you know, follow him. You know, I baptize with water. He baptizes with the Holy Spirit. I have no idea whether that, that actually happened or not. Of course, I was not there. Um, and John <laughs> was, uh, Johannes Ben Zebedee was, was not there either. Um, but what I do know is this. We never did baptisms. We never baptized anybody. And when John said, I baptize with water, he baptizes with the Holy Spirit, he's basically saying he's not going to do baptisms. Right? He's not going to do that. Right? Baptisms are a, are a ritual. It's part of the dogma of the time. And later on, the practice of baptism was hijacked by the, uh, the, the church itself. Well, if your child is born in sin, hmm, they have to get baptized into the church to not go to purgatory or hell now, right? They have to get baptized into the church. This was a recruitment tool this was a, a way of keep building up the masses of their church. Now you have children, your children have to be part of our church too, or they're going to go to purgatory. I'm sorry, just the way it is. It's bribery. <laughs> it's what it is. <coughs> the idea of, of baptism being some sort of spiritual need is actually abhorrent to me because they think that it's literally grifting off of people's fears and and specifically fears that they themselves um, 
that the, the ruling authorities created and and spread. You know, they I spread around some fear and then to and then give the remedy, right? They are the the snake oil sellers. Oh, you must have a this, that's this, and this is what'll cure it, right? So I mean, it's 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 a scam. That's what baptism is. It's a scam, and the pathway, as Jeshua would say, you know, pathway is within you. You know, when you seek a path, a path will will be found, right? You'll find a path, but until you turn that path back to you and go through you, you'll never find the truth. You'll never find the way. You'll never find the life. You have to literally take this moment and realize that baptism doesn't exist, but but you and your own personal journey within does. You know, I've I've had amazing experiences where I've gone out of body and done all these different things because I turned back in on myself. I came back to me. Not what somebody else said, not what some religion told me I had to do. I came back to me. And once I came back to me, that was better than any baptism I could ever have because I found the way. And my hope is that you hear what I'm saying is truth. I don't expect you to. And I think the only thing you can do is look at your, look at the information that's coming and decide for yourself if it's true. If it doesn't feel true to you, feel true, not think true, feel true. If it doesn't feel true to you, then you should not believe it. And that's all I say. All I ask is that you follow your heart and not your head. And definitely not the rules and doctrines of somebody else. So have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.